Hello, when I talked in my previous videos about actual duration and remaining duration and actual start and actual finish date and how to track project by the percentage of complete, it was applied to whole task to duration. But what, for example, if we have here, which we have phase one development four days for Ellen, Mary and Nenad. If I put here 50%, it will mean, let's go back here to view task usage and let's go to scroll to task to see this task. And if I click here on work, right click actual work, I will see that 50% is done by Mary, Ellen and myself. Let's go back here, GAN chart, zero. But now back, nothing is done. But what, for example, if I know that just Ellen finished 50% of her work, Nenad didn't do anything, and Mary is done by her work, but he was late and spent more hours. How can we do that? Obviously, not with mark on track, because here, I cannot choose any of resources. For that purpose, we should use, not Gantt chart, but we should go to view, to task usage. And as I showed you here, right click just, and on right click, choose this actual work. Okay, where, anywhere here. Right click, actual work. And let's say that Ellen, let's say, finished her work. What will I do? Since this is only about Ellen, I will double click on Ellen under her task, phase one development, and I will get assignment information window. And I will land in general, which I don't need, I will go to tracking. In tracking, I can see for Ellen work, it is total work, 32 hours. Why? Because she's supposed to work four days, eight hours per day and no vacation for her, so 32 hours. And I will say she's done. Okay, she did her work. If I put 100% or 50%, but I don't choose actual start at actual finish, it means that she did her work in 100%, started by 11th of October as planned, and finished by 14th of October. So she basically, here we can see that Ellen did her job great. Okay, you can see now that only for Ellen I have uh, actual work. Let's say that I did only 16 hours, but I need more hours than remaining hours. I will click here and I will say, I have worked 32 hours. Actual work is 40 now, uh, 16 hours. I did 16 hours and I still need 24 hours. What will result? in that my total work will be 40 hours and duration for my task and the whole task will be five days. And you will see that now duration is five days and I fulfill 16 hours, but I have uh, in total to work 40 hours. So why? Because I fulfilled 16 and I need 24 hours more, which is eight first day, second day, third days. In total, I need to work five days and two of those days are finished. I'm done. And let's go back to Mary. Mary, let's say that she worked, let's say, only 16 hours, but she finished her work, but she finished her work not from... Tuesday to Friday, but she worked only two days from Wednesday to Thursday. So I'm going to choose Mary and I will say, okay, Mary started to work 
not on 11th of October, but, but on, uh, on uh, 12th of October, okay? And she finished her work on Friday, which is 13th of October, okay? So once again, similar like when I uh, 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 showed you uh, in my previous video about start, uh, actual start and actual finish date for the whole task, similar applies to particular resource. When you put finish date, it means that remaining work will be zero. So basically, the total work will be calculated that Mary should work on Wednesday and Thursday. It is eight hours and Wednesday, eight hours on Thursday. The total work will be 16 days. The total uh, actual work, 16 hours, not days, of course. The actual work will be 16 hours and remaining work will be zero. Why? Because actual finished is here. So when you put actual finish for a particular resource, it means that resource, particular resource, in my example, Barry finished her work. So, okay, you'll see she didn't work at Tuesday at, as it, uh, she was supposed to. She worked only on Wednesday and Thursday and remaining work is zero. Let's hit here once again. So you will see work 16 hours, actual work 16 hours, percentage of complete zero, remaining work zero. So, to rec recapitulate, uh, recapitulate this uh, 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 whole video, you have possibility for each resource to put percentage of complete. So, let's go here to Peter, okay, to show you. Percentage of complete is, means how much work was done percent in percentage. So, if I put 40 or 50, 50 means 50 of those for, uh, 64 hours. If I don't know how much work uh, was done in a percentage, I can put how much work was actually done and how much work remains. So those two fields are, uh, are going to, uh, be, uh, be, uh, uh, to build the total work. So total work is actual work, which means how much work is done. Remaining work, how much work should be done by that particular resource, in my case, Peter. That is the second choice. The third choice is uh, that I can put how much work is done, how much work remains, and when the work actually starts. So if I put, okay, uh, Peter works 16 hours, he need uh, uh, let's say 80 hours more, but he didn't start at 18th, he started, let's say, at, at uh, 19th, then you will see that the total work will be 96 hours, but the, uh, uh, the, those 16 hours are going to be fulfilled on Wednesday 19th, and of course Thursday 20th, because the work is uh, started, has been started by Peter late, uh, 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 later than it was planned. So here, nine, sorry, 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 I didn't put here. So let's say he worked 16, he need 80, okay, and he was started to work on 19th. And I will put, okay, here it is, okay. He started on 19th, for, uh, worked on 20th, and you can see that he has to work a lot as I planned. Or I will undo it, or last thing, I can put actual start and actual finish, or just actual finish. If I put actual start and actual finish, it means that task is done. Actual finish we, means tax is done, but not the total task. The part, of Peter's part of task is done. So Peter doesn't have to do anything more at that task if I put finish date. If I put start date, the calculation will be finish date minus start date, uh, taking in consideration his 
uh, uh, non-working days, his vacation, etc., etc. And if I don't put actual start, the calculation will be actual finish minus planned. So let me show you that. If I say that Peter was finished at 20 of October, you will see that the calculation will be 20 of October, which is Thursday, minus planned actual start, which is 18th of October, which is Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You will see three days multiplied by eight hours, 24 hours. Okay? 24 hours, and all of those tasks are finished. But if I put here that he's, he was done at Thursday, which is 20th, but he started to work on, let's say, 19th, okay, then I will have, instead of, uh, instead of three days, two days, Wednesday and Thursday. So the total work will be determined by actual start, not by planned start, because planned st uh, actual start is not blank anymore, and finish date. So you will see 16 hours and Wednesday and Thursday. So it is very useful when you track the progress of the task by single resource. Resource by resource by resource by resource and not on the task overall. Hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you next time.